Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I feel all dolled up with absolutely nowhere to go, but that's okay. We're gonna talk about makeup, a lot of it, hair stuff, body stuff, skincare, all the goods that are my top picks because Sephora is having their VIB sale. I almost always miss out on this sale and for whatever reason, I get so sucked into other things in my life and filming and whatever, and I miss the opportunity to sit down and do a video like this for you guys. So I'm so happy that I'm gonna be able to give you a good solid hit list. I'm gonna also go ahead and link below another video where I talk about I think 10 different brands and I talk about the very best product in my opinion from that brand and the very worst. If you wanna go watch that, you'll get some more recommendations of things that are in my opinion, just A plus items that you might wanna consider getting a discount on because who doesn't love a sale? I love a sale. I started my whole channel doing Madness Monday and I was joking around on Twitter. I was like, hey, this kind of feels like Madness Monday, but at Sephora because it's 20% off. So I'm gonna go through the whole big thing. I'm prepared. I have notes. We have 20 plus items. So I think that I should just like zip it and hop right in. I also quickly wanna remind you guys to subscribe and ring the bell. I am here three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I talk about it all, drugstore, high end, just really, I am obsessed with makeup. Hi, how are you if you are new? And if you have been here, then well, you already know, the obsession runs deep. I just got back from Bora Bora, which sounds so just like, so guys, I got back from my Bora Bora vacation. Life is so awesome. Um, it was so incredible to connect with my husband and have that time. We were away for a week and I feel so refreshed. Like I didn't wear makeup, I didn't do the whole big thing. It was just chill and relax. Sitting back down today, I was kind of like, I know what we'll do, we'll wear all of the makeup all at once. And so I'm literally like lashed, glittered, highlighted the whole big thing. I am also doing a foundation wear test right now. I'll like sneak peek it for you guys. I did not like the matte one when it launched, but of course they come out with a new one and I'm like, I must try this. So I tried out a Fenty foundation, come back soon to see where all of that lands. Basically I'm trying a lot of new foundations right now. I am thoroughly taking notes, checking off things I like, don't like, really going through it. I'm geeking out on it in a big way because so many brands have launched new foundations. And I mean, there's, there's something for everybody from dewy to matte to longwear to light. So I'm kind of in the season of really going through all of that. Come back soon if you want to see the ultimate end of day wear test for the new Fenty foundation. And by come back soon, I mean subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified. Okay. Let me get to my notes because I took this VIB sale very, very seriously. The exploration of makeup and all of the new things that are constantly launching never, like it just never gets boring to me. Like sometimes the excess gets really crazy and I actually personally love shopping and selecting things myself that I know are really grabbing my attention. So when there's a sale like this, I'm just like, I'm all about it, dude. Do you see? Oh, she's Okay, so one of the first things that I wanna discuss is this very expensive Dyson. You guys, this thing is magic. I feel so bad that the first time I tried this, I was like, this is crap, this is garbage, I don't like it. Why is this side not working as much? I did not take the time to get to know it the way I should have. I did a first impression, but I followed it back up and said, you guys, I was wrong. I actually really love this item. It is crazy expensive and that's why I'm bringing this one up first because if you are looking to make the investment in a Dyson hairdryer or the air wrap, I would suggest doing it while there's 20% off because if something's over a hundred bucks, that's where you're really gonna see that discount feel like so much more. That 20% or 15% is gonna feel significant instead of just like a $20 eye pencil, you know what I'm saying? And not that everybody has the cash to even still splurge on something like this. I'm just saying, if you have been waiting to make a purchase like this, now is the time and stroll on down to Sephora. They say that there's a limit of one per person and I'm like, who needs two of them? Like who's gonna buy two hair dryers or two air wraps? I'm confused by that, but they're trying to prevent you from like selling on the black market or eBay or whatever. Um, I will share with you guys something that I really love doing with my air wrap, aside from just curling my hair. 
Oh my gosh, I really need to get new chairs. Okay, so this is what I do. Okay, and that's it. There's something about the heat and the air drying and evaporating a setting mist that is a dewy setting mist specifically, something like this right here, or MAC Fix Plus, that just glosses the skin and makes it look so pretty and perfect. I love doing that trick. If anything looks a little too gritty, textured, too much powder, I will always go and do that. Now you can just do it with a regular hair dryer. So don't feel like you have to have like the Dyson Air Wrap to do that trick, you don't. Just make sure you use a low setting and that you don't burn or scorch your face. I just think it's funny that I keep this out here to do my hair, style my bangs, curl my hair, heat up, a lash curler, dry off my setting mist. I actually use this item like every single day, so I wanted to bring that up. I also wanna share with you guys that Briogeo, it's not terribly expensive, but it certainly is not drugstore, you know? And if you have ever wanted to try any of their products, now would be a good time as well. I am still using a lot of their products. I specifically love the Strength Moisture Leave-In Mask right now. I've been more into letting my hair air dry and I feel like it comes out less frizzy and more silky when I use this, but I also use this just to like detangle my hair because we all know Tati loves a bun and sometimes when you fall asleep with the bun and you just kind of, I don't know, like I spend too much time in the bun and then I don't brush it out properly, things get very tangled. So I'll take a wide tooth comb and I will spray this on my ends and kind of glide the comb through and it really, really helps to detangle. So all of Brio Geo products I love, this is not sponsored. I've worked with them in the past, full transparency, but I'm not doing sponsored deals at the moment, so none of this is sponsored, just PS to you guys. But Brio Geo is something that I have consistently, for years now, been so in love with, and they have everything from the brand at Sephora. Another hair item that I am obsessed with is the IGK Volumizing Powder. That is actually in my travel bag. I took it with me to Bora Bora. There's something about that particular volumizing powder. A, it smells really great, but B, it just gives you that lift without sticking all the strands together and having it feel like you have a boatload of hairspray in the hair. I've tried so many volumizing powders and a lot of them almost have this like greasy gritty feel if you use too much. That one, for whatever reason, like if you screw it up and you're like, oh, this is too much, it's like tacky and sticky, you can brush it out almost and start again if you need to. So I really, really love that one. And let's move away from hair. Let's talk about skin for two seconds. Clarisonic, 20% off. It's like those big ticket items, I personally believe, are the most important when you're looking to splurge during a sale like this. Another skin tool that I really, really love is the Dr. Dennis Grouse? Is that his last name? Like, is it Grouse? Somebody help me, please. Anyway, I love the line. They have this really, really cool piece of technology that's like a red light eye mask, and I love it. It's kind of silicone-y and just feels nice on the eyes, and when I'm consistent with that particular eye mask, I see big results. I also, this is not Sephora, but I have like a full face like light up mask. I'll show you guys that in an upcoming video. Um, I don't wanna make this all about face tools, but that one is available at Sephora. So yeah, moving on. I can't sit still. I feel, I feel like, oh my, that's, should not, excuse me, hello. I was just gonna say I feel like JLo, but I don't think she would have like a wardrobe malfunction like that, so never mind. But you know like the dress that she had, like the deep V, that's what this pattern always reminds me of. You guys, Scott Barnes left a comment on one of my Instagram photos, like saying, hey everybody, like let Tati know that she should um, have me back on her channel. And I'm like, you don't even need to do that. Like the door is open anytime, right? Like we love having Scott here. Thumbs this video up. Expect another one from Scott in the near future. Uh, his products are not at Sephora, sadly. Or not sadly, actually I love that he has his own gig. Anyway, um, okay. I have a very, very expensive makeup brush right here, you guys. This is the only Tom Ford makeup brush that I own. 
and I'm gonna order another one. I kind of do this weird thing with expensive makeup brushes where I never buy them all at once. I'll just buy one or two and I will see if I really like them and use them. And it's funny because I have my absolute like diehard favorite brushes. I'll show you right in front of me. And it's weird because they all have like this different story. So the Haku Hodu brushes, I did not buy together. I bought one at one eye mats, one at another, super expensive. It was like this big investment move for me. I was like, oh my gosh, $60 for an eyeshadow brush. Like, should I really be doing this? And I've had these two brushes for like six years and they're great. So sometimes investing in the really high quality tools pays off in the long run because they don't fray, they stay in great shape, they make your makeup apply gorgeously. Uh, so Haku Hodo is great. The Scott Barnes 6-2, the Scott Barnes 6-1, and the brow brush. Those are like my everyday. And then the Kevin Aquan small eyeshadow flat tip. I use this under here to smudge out this area here. Anyway, long story short, higher end brushes do often work a lot better than the cheapy brushes. Not to say you can't get a gorgeous look done on a budget, trust me, you absolutely can. And you can even do it with your hands. But if you want something that is really gonna elevate all of your products, no matter what the ingredients, whether it's a drugstore bronzer or a very, very finely milled, more expensive high-end bronzer, a brush like this is going to make everything look perfect. So this is my favorite bronzer brush and I use a stippling motion. I'll then kind of go through and use circular motions but the way that this brush distributes color, you can do no wrong. You can take it on the body, down the neck. It just gives this even wash of color and distribution. So I love that so, so much. It's expensive. The Tom Ford bronzer brush number five is $115. No, God, please, no, no! We're talking about the expensive things so that we can kind of save some money. Like that's the reason I bring it up. I never really talk about this one because I just feel like, oh, you know, um, something that's kind of a dupe, not as good, but it will kind of do the same thing is the Stilazzi Large Powder. This is another brush that I really do enjoy, much more affordable, but I'm gonna order myself the Shade and Illuminate brush number four because I feel like it will be similar to one of my very, very favorite brushes for cream contour, which is the All Night Long Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush. This kind of just hugs right into the hollows of your cheeks and it distributes color gorgeously. I am already ruining this brush and I feel like my higher end brushes last much longer through like the everyday intense blending and washing and all of that. So I am gonna order this shade and illuminate brush. I'm also going to order the Terracotta Bronzing Face Palette for $71, but I will enjoy my discount of 20% and still spend way too much money on a bronzing trio slash highlighter, but I'm curious. They also have a new foundation, a 16 hour natural finish foundation from Guerlain. Why not? I wanna try every foundation that is out there. Like that's my thing right now. I'm so into that. So uh, yeah, those are some of the items that I'm ordering. I also wanna recommend from Tom Ford, the liner duo that has two different tips on either end. I'm gonna reorder that one. And then also the Emotion Proof Mascara. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I could miss a mascara. I left it in Seattle. And I mean, my Collab Beauty Mascara does a great job. Sally's, like 10 bucks. But the Emotion Proof Mascara just like has fibers and something in there to make your lashes just be like me. Like you look like you're wearing falsies. I will link below a video where I'm trying it out if you guys wanna check that one out. But that is a $46 foundation. So if you're gonna splurge, do it now. Oh my gosh, I sound like a QVC lady. Like this whole video is gonna be like, if you wanna try it now with your 20% off VIB, spend all your money, do it now. Or don't, or just go to the drugstore. I'm gonna do like a full face, everything under 10 very soon to offset all of this. Stay tuned for that. Okay, let's continue. I feel like this is such a YouTube thing to say, but I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, my battery just died. Where were we? But that really just happened and my phone was dead and it's like a million quadrillion degrees here in California. I'm basically melting and pretending that I'm still on vacation with my beautiful vacation print. 
Uh, anyway, let's talk about foot cream, shall we? Because I feel like I need to discuss with you guys the wonders of Sol de Janeiro's foot cream. I'm out of mine. I've gone through, I wanna say like four bottles. I like my feet to be as soft as possible. I will always pumice my heels in the shower. I will use lotion and try to just keep those rougher, drier areas hydrated as best I can. And it makes a really, really big difference. This one comes with this almost like little surfboard looking foot file. It's cute, it's a foot file. Um, but the thing I love most about this particular cream is it smells like the bum bum cream, but it absorbs so quickly that you don't feel like, ugh, I just don't wanna put this on right now because I don't wanna feel like I have slimy feet and I'm walking around. Um, I wanna show you, they actually sent me something. I have like a very special bottle of boom boom cream. I think that's actually how you say it. It's not bum bum cream. God, it's so good. It just, you just wanna eat this up. It's such a beautiful summertime fragrance that is unique. I love their shower gels, the cream, the foot cream, the lip balm, the hand cream. I will never ever forget though, my very first encounter with Sol de Janeiro products. I went into Sephora and I was just kind of like smelling this tub of lotion. And I was like, I've never seen this before. Like bum bum cream, like what's this? And this employee comes up and she kind of like slaps her butt and she's like, it's for your bum. I bought it on the spot. I was like, it's for your bum. And I always think of that to this day. We've talked about hair. We've talked about the body. We've talked a little skin, a little this, a little that, and brushes. And I just want to talk about the makeup for a moment because makeup is still expensive. And really, this is kind of just a favorites video, if you will. Like the sale is going on, but sale or no sale, these are items that I really love, that I think are splurge worthy, that I use often. And that's why I'm chatting about them with you guys right now. So any of the Pat McGrath palettes are gorgeous, beautiful, oh, just so dreamy. I love them so much. They are pricey. This one is actually my very, very favorite. I just think there's so much going on in here that's just like so unique. Look at that. It's just beautiful. So reflective, so unique. Actually not what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I'm wearing a hybrid of like 10,000 different things. It's gonna be really tough to do the description because I was just having one of those days where I was like, paint, 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 more, more, more. Um, but the first initial colors that I laid down were from the Let's Gold Make It Forever palette. I really love this one. If you like, you know, your neutrals, but you want some more kind of green type yellow golden tones, this is a great palette. Love the quality of Make It Forever shadows. I also wanted to share with you guys, this surprisingly is one of my top five Natasha Denona products. I love this. This is a newer launch from her. This is the Sun Rise palette. And instead of it being a $100 plus palette, this is $65. I love Natasha Denona's artistry. I love her. I love what she's about. I love her brand. I love the color setup, the choices, and it's always very exciting to me, her launches, the way they theme them out. My two favorite palettes, like the larger ones, the Safari palette and the gold palette, those are just home run, beautiful palettes. Uh, the Safari palette is great if you are looking for all matte, really creamy, talc free, neutral, but also punchy orange green tones. And then the gold palette is just like high shine, intense peacock, gold, bronze, that kind of a thing. This one right here is just bright and fun. You have mattes, you have metallics. The quality is amazing, you know? I am in love with this palette. I've been reaching for it a lot. I like the size of it. I think it's great on the go. I was laughing with someone the other day. I was like, you know, these palettes are so giant. Like palettes are getting to be like the size of like an iPad or bigger with like these giant things. And it's like, who has room for that? I mean, I don't know about you, but I grew up sharing a bathroom with three other girls. Like me and my sisters, we had to share a bathroom. No one had room to put stuff anywhere. Anyway, I think the size of this one is so cute and so nice. Um, another thing that I'm really into specifically for the body is the Jelly Beam Glazed from Farsali. Look at this. Wow, right? Oh my God, I'm JLo. 
Maybe this makes me a little bit biased to show this off in this particular video, but I'm just gonna say it anyway because it was the nicest thing ever. When my grandmother passed, which was pretty recent, it's still, like when I think about it, it's still really tough. I'm just really sad that I didn't get to have my grandparents meet my kids. James and I are still trying. It's frustrating. We might try something more aggressive next year in terms of IVF. I'm open to adoption, all of that. So anyway, the baby journey is still game on. Like James and I still really, really want that. But long story short, Farsali was the one company that sent me flowers and the most beautiful note. And I didn't get a chance in like my upset to DM or reach out or say thank you, but ooh. I think it's such a beautiful thing to have someone make a gesture to try and make you feel better. Two seconds. I need like, where's my Dyson? Dyson will also dry your tears. I'm better now. What I was saying is it's just such a beautiful thing how a gesture, a kind note, like when you're in those low moments, they mean everything. So thank you to Fursali for taking the time to do that. I didn't have a chance in the moment to really say thank you or anything like that, but it meant a lot. My older sister Larissa always says, you know, all of our roofs are on fire. Like we all have something going on. And that's the biggest reminder that there is to kind of like just be kind to one another, you know? We're all battling something. We've all lost people. We all have challenges, so. Anyway, back to the makeup and glitter that always makes me feel so much better. Fenty, highlight, we're not gonna stay here long. Love it, the gloss, love it. One of my favorite lip balms, I don't think I've really mentioned this much. I've gone through two of these, is the Fresh Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. Ugh. Want to eat it don't eat it but you'll want to eat it also i love 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 the cannabis santal fragrance i'm gonna order a candle during the sale but oh my goodness i cannot even tell you how many compliments i get on that fragrance if you like tokyo milk dark like those more rich deep sexy type scents you should go and smell that one it is so nice i wear it almost every single day and I am hooked. Like I want those candles everywhere because I love the way it smells so much. They also have, like while I was scrolling through Sephora, they have a spice bomb candle. And that's one of the scents that James wears that I love so much. I might buy that just so I can be like, yes, husband. I wanted to remind you guys, buy the boring things when they're on sale. Why not? Get some brush cleaner. I highly recommend Cinema Secrets. It's my very, very, very favorite because it's quick drying, it cleans the brushes, and then you never run into that issue of like reaching for a crease brush that you used the day before, you know, for a smoky eye or something, and you like get black everywhere. Like I'm just in the habit of constantly spritzing my brushes down, quick, 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 give them a quick wipe, they're good, they're done. This stuff dries so quickly that you can almost use it immediately. Ambient powder. I think everyone needs this, especially if you have texture on your skin and you want a creamier complexion, creamier glow. The Fenty Universal Mattifying Powder, I cannot get enough of this specifically to like do a quick little touch up. Like I will literally go in here and just like get around the nose. If I'm shiny anywhere, it completely takes it away without adding anything, and it never looks cakey. I really, really recommend this one. The Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, one of my very, very favorites of all time. Of course, I'm trying like 25 quadrillion million new foundations, so stay tuned for reviews on all of those. My favorite red is the YSL number no. one. If you're looking for a really beautiful long wear liquid lip that does not add any texture or volume to the lip, but it's more than just a stain, these are great. If you're looking for something that's a little more balmy, I have been wearing this one quite a bit. This one's really, really good. It's called Stiletto. Any of the nude sticks are super cute. I'll put this one on for you guys. This is really special. This is new from Dior or newer. You can get a dupe for this at the drugstore from L'Oreal, the Infallible Balms, but I love these. They're cushy, hydrating. They seem to kind of fill in the cracks in your lips and make your lips look more voluminous, nourished colored, like just, it does it all. It's like not a volumizing lip plumper, 
but it just glosses you up and kind of zhuzhes the lips and they have so many pretty colors. I really love these. They have this by Veramona. It's not terribly expensive. Having one of these tins is great to kind of quick change your brush's color. It will immediately take the pigment off of your brush. It won't sanitize it. You do still need to clean your brushes, so don't just rely on this. But if you're working with one or two brushes and you're changing colors around, it's nice to have something to completely take the color off. So these are great. I love a beauty blender. You don't wanna keep this around forever and ever and ever. Um, even if you wash it all the time, which I usually wash every day or every other day, they still will get a little bit torn and kind of eaten up a little bit. So having these on hand is great. Why not make it less expensive? There's nothing like the original. Like this is, this is it for me. I don't really mess around with many other sponges. I just like the Beauty Blender sponge. And then I have gotten in the habit of only using their solid cleanser because I noticed that when I use their cleanser as opposed to my own baby shampoo, you know, hand soap, I would use hand soap for a while, the sponge will fall apart much quicker. And it's important that you clean a sponge. It attracts a lot of bacteria and you do absolutely need to cleanse it. So I would just recommend buy the boring things while you can. Gosh, I have rambled on about way more than 10 products. I could sit here and hang out with you all all day long and just talk about all my favorite things at Sephora. I am gonna go and place my own VIB order. So expect a more luxurious try on from Sephora haul type of a thing very, very soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that. And then smash the bell, ring the bell, slap the bell, and leave me some comments. Let me know what you're purchasing from the sale. All right, I love you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.